So I recently picked up the Rangers Castore Retro shirt and I think it's absolutely lovely. Uh, but I want to know what Romulan Senator Vrenak thinks of it. Senator? It's a fake. Don't worry, I've not been stung. Let's just say I took a um, calculated risk on a £20 eBay purchase uh, in order to do this video, which by no means comprehensive, but will hopefully give you a few tips and tricks and things to watch out for when spotting for fakes. So when you first look at this shirt, it looks absolutely no different to the pictures. The Castore logo and the Rangers badge look well stitched, it looks normal. But our first clue is when we actually look at the label. Clearly this is an official Rangers product, whereas the fakes label is a bit uh, clearly dodge. But as you get into this, you start to realize that different manufacturers have actually had different looking labels over the years. So even if it looks like it's got an official label, that might not be proof that it is in fact real. And even though the stitching of the badge just looks good, when you get up close, and you might not be able to do this on eBay, actually seeing how the stitching differs might help, this stitching is actually quite bad. This has already got a run on it, and I've never even worn it. And that also applies to like heat pressed labels. So if you look at the labels on the inside back, there doesn't look like there's too many differences, but actually, the font on the 1872 of the official one is different in the fake one. So you've got to get your detective hat on to look at some of these really minute differences. But it's actually in the labels where we can find out real and fake. So the inside label is clearly different. But on some of the bigger manufacturers, so like with Nike, they actually have a little label on here that has a little product code. So if you put that into Google, it will actually show you the product that it's supposed to be. So that's why you might see people asking, oh, can I have a look at the product code? Because that's an acid test on how to spot if it's a fake. But also for me, the thing is, is too good to be true, yeah? This was 20 quid after it had been sold out for months in all sizes, alarm bells, yeah? And then when I went to look for it again for this video, it has mysteriously disappeared. Hmm. A big thank you to David O'Hare and the Jersey Boy for providing the legit snaps of this shirt. Um, and actually, that's my final point. Use the community, yeah? Get in touch with someone, drop a little tweet out, asking for a little bit of help. Uh, because you know what? Lots of people are always there to help out or point you in the direction so that you don't get stung with buying a fake.